Personally, I've always been a fan of Selena Gomez. Although she's talented and successful, she still comes off as sweet and down to earth. You would probably be surprised that the current home she lives in is also pretty modest. What is your first memory in life? My mom painting. Who do you look up to most in life? My mom. What's the best piece of advice you've received from your mom? Treat others how you wish to be treated. What's a good rule you've learned from your parents? Everyone is equal and everything happens for a reason. I've seen some comments requesting a Selena Gomez house tour, so that's exactly what we're going to get into today. Selena was a famous Disney star for quite a few years and is 27 at the time of this recording. These days, she's a singer, actress, and even an executive producer, most notably on the hit Netflix series 13 Reasons Why. Back in 2018, Selena was also the most followed Instagrammer in the world for a while, and now she's at 157 million followers on the platform. With all of this success, including numerous awards, it's nice that the star has seemed to remain pretty humble. In the past, Selena has been pretty public about her personal life, including her battle with the disease lupus and going to rehab to give herself a break and focus on her mental health. She seems to set a positive influence and example to others, especially for her fans. However, other areas of her personal life she tends to keep on the down low, including where she lives. She's not even 30 but has flipped a handful of houses and moved around quite a bit. We do know the last LA home Selena was living in, but she also put that one on the market recently and remains slightly off the map. She hasn't done an official house tour, so today we're just going to take a look at her properties and what we do know. What's going on guys, it's Kara and we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today we're going to be taking a look at Selena's past properties and her Studio City home she was most recently living in. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Katy Perry and Ariana Grande and we'll have links to those at the end of this. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. We'll start with Selena's previous homes. With a high net worth of around 60 million, clearly the star has had the means to purchase whatever home she wanted in the past, and she has moved more than once. Selena's starter home was located in Tarzana, California, and it was 6,630 square feet spread across two stories. She had six beds and nine baths, along with a movie room, great room, and more. The property was just at an acre and there was still a gorgeous swimming pool, a guest house and basketball court outside. Selena bought the house in 2011 for just over 2 million and ended up doing some renovations, actually expanding the place by 2,000 square feet or so. Most of the interior was changed and made sleeker with a lot of whites and grays like you can see in the photos, but she kept the red front door and the entryway the same. When Selena sold it, she got $3.45 million this time and it was purchased by none other than rapper Iggy Azalea. Also in 2014, Selena purchased a home in Calabasas, California that was quite the upgrade. Already we know that this neighborhood is a celebrity hotspot and is full of elaborate mansions, all in the multi-million dollar price range. She only stayed at this place for a year, apparently because she had too many run-ins with intruders and stalkers. Selena purchased the home for $3.7 million and was located in the gated community called Muro Estates. It sat on three acres of land and the main home was 7,700 square feet with five beds and six baths. There was also a guest house and a pool on the property. With features like a gorgeous entryway, winding staircase, movie theater and wine cellar, it had all the fixings of a Hollywood mansion. I especially love the dining room in this place and I like the fact that the interior colors were a combination of jewel tones in some rooms and basic neutrals in other areas of the home. Although the house was gorgeous, it ended up selling for less than Selena's $4.5 million asking price. Maybe it was because she was in a rush to move, but she had to lower it to around 3.5 million, and rapper French Montana finally bought the place in 2016. So where did Selena go after this? Selena is a Texas native born in Grand Prairie, so I guess she felt it was time she got back to her roots. This mansion was located in Fort Worth, just 30 minutes from the area she grew up in, and was 10,000 square feet with five beds and 6.5 baths. It sits on 1.5 acres of land and there's a pool with a water slide, a tennis court that doubles as a basketball court, an outdoor kitchen, and even a putting green. I think this home has got to be my fave of Selena's. There's a bar right when you walk in, making the space perfect for entertaining, a super cool movie theater, the carpet even has stars on it, and a game room. Although plenty of the rooms feel traditional and homey, certain rooms are colorful and unique like the dining room. Seems like I have a thing for all of Selena's dining rooms. 
With a mansion this impressive, you'd expect a huge price tag. When Selena put it on the market, it was listed at about 3.5 million. But after lowering the price more than once, the asking price actually went down to 2.7 mil. Now I'm not sure why Selena seems to keep selling her home so quickly, but yes, the star decided to move once again. Rumor has it that it was because she wasn't able to spend as much time at the Texas estate as she wanted to. Selena moved on to a place that was definitely more modest. You might not even know it's a celebrity home. She purchased this place in Studio City, California for about $2.2 million in 2017. And although she apparently flipped it and put it back on the market a year later, it seems to be the last known place we know of Selena living. So if the star has bought a new home, nobody knows about it. If I'm wrong or anyone has some of her new real estate deeds, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Selena's Studio City home sits at 3,188 square feet with four beds and four baths, a definite size difference compared to the last mansion. So it does seem on the smaller side considering her last houses were basically double in size, but really how much space would a single person need? The master suite still had a ton of space including two walk-in closets and two normal sized ones. There are also multiple living rooms and a room she converted into a small gym. Privacy was a big concern as it would be for any celeb and even though we can see there's a gate around the house, the extra tall hedges look like they're really what keep the paparazzis and unwanted visitors at bay. I don't know that I've ever seen hedges that tall over a home before. The living room is cozy and I think my favorite thing here is the green marble fireplace. There's also a really nice gourmet kitchen and a dining space. The whole area here including another sitting area is open concept and spacious. Looking at the photos, some may be shocked to find out that Selena lives in a house that's more on the normal side, but I think it's perfect. There are still the fixings of a celebrity home here though, considering the guest house that's on the property and the extra bedrooms in the main house. Even though Selena's Studio City home may look on the smaller side from the outside, it's still bigger than many. Despite all of Selena's real estate ventures and moving around, I feel like maybe she hasn't had much luck in that department yet. She's owned at least four gorgeous properties in recent years and put them on the market, unfortunately selling for a few less than her asking price or less than she purchased for. We know that Selena's Texas dream home was a keeper, but unfortunately wasn't practical and she couldn't spend enough time in the state, which makes sense considering most of her career is in Hollywood. So even though the last place we know of her buying and living was a smaller home in Studio City, California, she put it on the market last year too. Selena even told Good Morning America, I I don't even live in LA anymore. I don't pay attention to trying to get people to like me as much. Maybe Selena wanted to be off the grid a bit more, especially after her voluntary time in rehab. According to her IG, she had her friends and their dog as roommates for the summer, so I guess they've been renting a spot in LA or staying at her Studio City home. But since that's concluded, I'm not sure what the next chapter holds for Selena. Selena has been spotted both out and about in LA recently and in Texas spending a lot of time with her family. Oh, it's my mom. Oh, she says, what's your favorite thing about your mom? Ha, huh. her laugh. <laughs> what's the coolest thing about your family? How good we are at arguing. What's the silliest nickname ever given to you? Flaca. In general, when do you feel most beautiful? When I'm with the people I love. Okay guys, now I'll be reading some of your comments from previous videos. On our Kylie Jenner house tour, Lisa Falco said, even though she's a mom, I doubt she wants a boring house. I agree Lisa and Kylie's house is far from boring. I'm sure when Stormy gets older, the fun vibes will actually make her love the home more. On our Kim K house tour, Desi said, she's a pushover, she allows him to control her. Sure it's an Illuminati rule. Interesting view, I actually read a few comments on Kim and Kanye's house mentioning the Illuminati, so I wonder if that's true. Creepy. And on our Katy Perry house tour, Hannah Sr. said, the person who filmed that video of the streets of where Katy Perry used to live is a YouTuber called Christoph Chu. I love his videos, you should check it out. Thanks Hannah, I did see his channel and I believe that's where I found the clip. He has good content for real estate in those areas of Hollywood and gives a lot of useful information. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Selena Gomez and her homes. Even though she has quite the real estate record, I wish we were sure of where she was living at the moment, but you gotta respect the girl's privacy. A few of Selena's houses were pretty impressive mansions, but I think her most recent choice of living quarters in Studio City shows that she can also remain humble. I look forward to reading what you guys think about her homes or if there's anything I might have missed. Which one of Selena's homes was your favorite? 
Let me know in the comments and let me know some other celebrity homes you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!